It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from 100 Bridges Brewery in Poland, translating in Polish to Brother Stu Mostow. And this is a bottle of their wheat porter, Zaspotskany. It's coming in at 4.8% ABV. I'm looking forward to this one. Here's a look at the bottle cap. You can claim your free box of beer from Beer 52. They've got a Polish beer month on at the moment. Uh, it finishes, by the way, if you're watching this review in two years time, you've missed it completely. Um, but check out, if you're watching this in the future, check out beers, beer52.com. They might have uh, Polish craft beer on, on a permanent basis in the future. So, But at the moment, um, there's a big push from Beer 52 and Ferment Magazine and this is their Polish month. It's the month of June on the box, June 2018. Um, check out the link in the descri description box. Um, just go on their website, beer52.com, put in the promotion code SIMON. There we go, SIMON, that's the promotion code. And you'll be able to get your free box of Polish craft beer. All you gotta do is pay for your postage and package. I think there's a certain amount of bo boxes they send out, mind. It's not like a completely free thing. I think they send out, um, don't quote me on this, but it might be a couple of hundred, and then and then it kind of just stops on this, on this note. Because they're a company, they're a business. They can't just send stuff out for free. They need to make money as well. So be quick, be quick. That's my message to you guys. Be quick on this. There's a the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Good bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Isn't it strange how you learn to hold a bottle of beer when you're reviewing something on YouTube? You're tucking your fingers away, you're trying to give the beer as much promotion as you can. Look at that. Who goes into the pub and tucks their fingers away and holds a beer like that, you know? Normally, I'm going to be honest with you, and I've been told on a numerous, numerous occasions is to, I, I drink like that. I can't help it. Um, I, well, well, hold on. I drink like that. And the amount of times people, are, people go, you're in a pub, put your pinky away. You know, it's like, you little snob. But it, it's not that I'm a little snob, it's, it's just the fact that I, I just, I'm a bit of a, I like to caress my beer and, Get the aroma and get the pinky out, you know? Hold it with style. You know, don't grip it with tension. Like, you know, <laughs> if you're down the cons club or if you're in the labour club, you know, you're gripping your pint with, with all your might watching the football and, you know, on tenter hooks, you want your team to win. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm a caresser of my... The beer does all the talking for me. Um, I go to the pub to, to, to drink beer, caress beer, smell beer. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Talking about beer then, black, jet black beer in the glass. It's a little bit of light bleeding through at the bottom. One finger, tan coloured head, uh, aroma. Yeah, for a wheat porter, it's biscuity, it's bready, it's a little bit nutty. It's got some plum and some fig on the back end. some prunes, smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Chocolate, coffee, caramel. Easy drinking, such an easy drinking port that it absolutely slips down. It's just one of those It's actually very close to, if I'm thinking style, just for you guys, I'm thick thinking the mouthfeel is like a bock. It's like a German bock in terms of style. It just, it's, it's just so easy. You look, you look at a bock or you look at a Polish porter as we're looking at today. You'll see maybe it's 5.5%, 6%. You'd be thinking, whoa, that's, that's a big beer 
but what you find with a buck is that they just slide they just slip it's not overly carbonated it's not it's not causing your stomach to fill up and, and gas out if you like and, and oh I've had enough beer now you know how many times have you heard somebody say that oh I've had, a, I've had enough beer I'm, I'm full of gas or, or, or I've had too much volume and then they go to the top shelf they get some whiskey or they go into the worst thing for me they go to wine I'm like oh god how can you go to wine after beer pathetic drink sorry But that is so creamy, so lovely and chocolatey and coffee and caramel flavours coming through. The biscuitiness, the wheat flavours are coming through. There's a slight tickle of carbonation, but it's not an overly carbonated beer. This is just tremendous, absolutely tremendous. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Look at it. Look at the quality. Good lacing. Carbonation chases the head of the beer up the glass. Just, I want to stick my pinky out. I do. I want to stick my pinky out and and play with this beer. <laughs> Let's rate it. For me. At 4.8% ABV, I've just drunk a couple of pale ales, a couple of IPAs, and although it's very nice to jump on a good pale ale or an IPA, there's something about this style of beer, a dark beer, even in if this 30 degree heat outside today in Wales, in the UK. And I've just got this wheat porter. And it's a, it's a mind thing. Your mind is telling you it's dark, it's gonna be gloopy, it's gonna be, it's gonna be thick, it's not gonna be very refreshing. Out of the two pale ales, or one pale ale, one IP I've reviewed, I would say this wheat porter is indeed the most refreshing beer out of the three beers. Isn't that amazing that a, that a, that a dark beer can be? And it's not, it's not one of those refreshing freezing cold dark beers that they push on the television adverts um, you should never you should never never put a porter or a, a proper porter or a proper stout you should never put it in the fridge to put it to freezing cold you'll ruin the beer but yeah this has been the most refreshing beer out of the three that's what I'm trying to get at and it's at room temperature rating I think it's tremendous. It's an absolutely fantastic, lovely beer. Nutty, biscuity, raisiny, plum, chocolate, coffee, caramel, so many flavours. It's a 10 out of 10 beer. 10 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. You can get it at beer52.com for the month of June 2018. Um, no money exchange hands uh, in this promotion. Uh, it's just me enjoying the beer and beer 52 getting a little shout out thanks for watching put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom and cheers